Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha, and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, I'm gonna try to have fun with makeup. <laughs> I look a hot mess, but we're gonna change it. I have on my wonderful Madame Leota shirt. That's who I'm gonna try to transform into today. I did do a cosplay when I went with my sister and my mom to Disneyland a couple years ago for the Halloween party over there. Um, so I was in full Madame Leota. We're gonna try to take it up a notch, maybe tweak it a little bit this time. I know I'm late to the party. As I'm filming this, Halloween is tomorrow. Um, but that is not my costume for Halloween, so I thought I'd have fun and take you guys along for the ride. Again, I'm not a beauty guru. I do not do, this is not my normal content. However, um, I am a cosmetologist, so I do like to have fun with hair and makeup. So uh, have fun with me. Let's go. Okay, so now that the hair is up and out of the way, um, make sure that you do your skincare routine. Tis important. <laughs> and I've actually already put on some eyeshadow primer and I forgot that I had done that already. So, already did that. Um, as for what I'm using, I've got some makeup wipes because your girl gets messy. Um, I have all of my makeup brushes. <laughs> I have some random makeup in here. I've got some different eyeshadow palettes um, to mess around with. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I've got some magnetic lashes. <laughs> and a Halloween kit. Always check your expiration dates for your skincare products. However, you know what? I am gonna use what I've got, so. <laughs> so my problem with doing this uh, makeup look is that Madame Leota kind of has different renditions depending on, you know, the artist or what you're looking at. So for instance, we have the Funko Pop, which she kind of has like a greenish hue to her, um, the, to her face, and then we have other renditions where she has more of a white face. This one has more of a white face. So I mean, I think that's what I'm gonna go for. I think all, all this is going to end up looking more like a blue glowing face with contour. So I think what I'm gonna do is give myself a white base and then play upon the blue slash greens in contour. And um, then I've got some glitter. And I think, I think we're gonna start with that and then see how it goes. So that's my game plan. Um, I don't really have a tutorial. You're just gonna go along with the ride for me today. So have fun watching me mess up and uh, figure stuff out. <laughs> Okay, so I figured out a technique. We're gonna beauty blend it. So it actually is saturated more when you pounce it like this, when you hashtag beat your face. <laughs> so it's actually going on pretty dang good um, for a wet and wild makeup that I've had for two years. <laughs> Shh, don't tell my esthetician. So again, um, we're gonna do some contouring. So, you know, we're gonna blend, we're gonna make it work, and then we're going to set the bejeez out of this with setting powder. So, all right, let's keep going. Why am I so nervous? <laughs> okay. Okay, so what I wanted to do didn't work. It didn't blend, it just kept taking the white off. So we're gonna try applying <laughs> the white again. Uh, and seeing what I can do. I'm gonna try with another makeup. I don't think the makeup was compatible, so we're just gonna try again. Okay, so I think I figured out how I wanna go about this. So I do have this paint palette from Wet n Wild, which is basically the same um, consistency, the same product as this white stuff that I'm putting on my face. And so I'm gonna lay that down as a base for the contour. And then I'm going to set it with powder and then I'm going to go over and darken it and blend out those areas even more with eyeshadow. Um, I think that'll be more of a strategic idea with this than trying to use two different products. So we're going to just have fun. It's all right. This is a calm, 
crazy video. Just watch me mess up. It's all right. I mess up so you don't have to. I'm gonna go in with the darker of them all. There we go. That's gonna blend in. Okay, I think this is what I did the last time. I don't remember because it was literally like two years ago. So yeah, anything that I did from that time period has already been um, in my head, flew out and replaced with more information. So this has definitely been easier to blend and stay on and it's not interfering with the white base underneath. So what I'm trying to create here is like a shadow um, she is in a, essentially a fishbowl, so um, we're going to try to create a glow from the front out. So her whole face is going to be um, bright and highlighted, and then all of this is going to be a shadow. So it's going to be a glowy shadow. Okay, so this is what she looks like before she's blended. And what I find that kind of works too is using my fingers. So I have a lighter blue. I'm gonna kind of put that on top here. Let's see if that does anything. Hmm. Kind of. All right, a little bit of dimension there. And then I also have a silver color that I think I'm gonna use for like some highlights, let's see, how she do? Mm, maybe. When in doubt, blend it out, right? Oh, <laughs> oh my God, my teeth look so yellow, what the heck? This will be a great little base layer here. Add some shine. It's getting there. And I want it to be pronounced. I want the colors to, you know, look like they live there. <laughs> I don't want them to be completely gone. Oh, yay. Okay. I'm liking this a lot better. I look more glowy. Yes, I do. So. Let's go ahead and set this with setting powder and then maybe start on the eyes. Let's, let's divert from the face a little bit. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on to the eyebrows. I know I have like super thin eyebrows. Uh, thank you, early 2000s. That was such a nice, nice time. Um, anyway. <laughs> So I'm just gonna do my regular eyebrows. I ain't gonna try to be fancy because it's not that big of a deal, but I am going to continue with the dark color just because we wanna make them a little pronounced. I guess you could be kind of fun and do like a, maybe like a purple brow or like a really dark black brow, um, but here we are. Okay, we got eyebrows. First step done. Um, so when I did this um, for the Halloween spectacular, I did, I believe, purple shadow. So I'm still debating whether or not I wanna do like a green and blue thing, but I think I might wanna just stick with the purple. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, purple eyeshadow and then all of the blending of the blue eyeshadow for the contour. I think that'll be a nice touch. Okay, so I have this NYX glitter loose glitter in purple and it's kind of has that, ooh, that holographic blue. So I want to use that, but you have to have the glitter primer to have in order for it to stick. So that I think I'm going to have on like my eyelids. Um, and then I'm going to have like more of a purple fade up with eyeshadow. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Okay. So we're going to do a dark crease. and just blend. I have hooded eye eyelids, so all of my shadow seems to get lost on my eye, my actual eyelid down here. So I tend to bring my stuff up higher. Ooh, look at that. Pro tip, once you get the eyeshadow on your brush, 
tap the excess off so it doesn't go all over your freshly foundationed. So I think that's good. And then I think I want to do like a lighter, maybe like pinky color to blend in at that top part. Oh yeah, make it a little dimensional there. I mean, it looks blended in the mirror, but right here it looks like I just mimied it. <laughs> and if you don't know that reference, I feel so old. Mimi from the Drew Carey Show. Google it. Okay, she's more blended. So now what I'm going to do is take the glitter primer and put it on my eyelids. And do be warned that if you do use this washer brush afterwards, otherwise you're going to have a heck of a time getting that off. It's really sticky. It's similar to eyelash glue. I just stick a little bit on the back of my hand. Put a little bit on my brush at a time and gob it on basically and I use a cheap brush that I don't care if it gets ruined or not uh, definitely do be careful when you're using this not to get it in your eye um, and that goes without saying for all of the makeup that we have been doing all right so then I shake out the glitter into the cap and we start gobbing it on. <laughs> Word of the day, folks. Please be careful that you don't get this in your eye either. And I need to tell you that it does take at least makeup wipes to get this off. And I press, I don't um, rub. I brought it out a little bit too because my hooded eyes, it takes a little ingenuity to like kind of get things how you want them. At least personally, that's been my experience. Ooh, what a treat this is. I love glitter. Anything with glitter in it, sign me up. Um, uh, so I do have some excess that, you know, tapped off. I don't care. I'm going to leave it because she's shimmery goodness anyway. So let's keep going. Um, I think I want to do a little bit of a darker purple down here to just give my eyes a little bit more pop and depth. Smudge and blend, smudge and blend. So that's how she's looking so far. I'm all right with it. I'm okay with it. It, it looks all right. So. Next, we're gonna, um, I think, before we do the eyeliner, I think I wanna give the contour a little bit more, some work going on with it, with some eyeshadow. All right, watch me mess this up. So I'm getting a blue on a big, um, like, blusher. I'm just kinda gonna go for it. Oh, yeah, all right. Yes, all right, that's, I think that's gonna work for me. This I, I'm, I'm digging because it does a really good job of blending now that that setting powder has been set down. Um, so it's not stripping what I've already put down, but it's um, going on pretty good, pretty gosh darn smooth. And it has those other tones underneath that we're just adding to. So I'm excited about this. We get to have a play. Ooh, she's glowing. Ooh, I'm liking this. So next what I'm gonna do is deal with the nose, but I need a smaller brush. So get yourself a fluffy brush that you do like blend work with and we're good to go. That was a mess up, but that's okay. Blend it out. There. And remember, this also counts as shadow too. Um, so think of yourself when you see yourself as like a in a bowl, what it's gonna look like. I even bring it around the nostril. And then underneath, because there's always going to be a shadow. 
And then I took it up here as well. You know, like I said, it's not perfect, but you know what? You're gonna make some kid's day. That's what I'm counting on. What I'm doing is I'm kind of going back in with this smaller brush and creating more of a harsher line with it where it's been blended out. It's working. Get underneath that chin too. All right. I mean, it's doing something for me. Okay, so I was thinking about how, how I was going to do highlights for it. And I had this liquid, I had liquid highlighter, but since everything has been powdered down now, it's not going to adhere right. So I have this loose pigment that is white gold and there's a lot of shimmer. So that's what we're going to do. Make sure to highlight where your um, prominent like bone structure is. Highlight there, highlight the nose. I'll probably do some underneath the eyebrows and then do some up here because again, she's glowing, right? I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush because we don't want to mix the blue. And we're just going to tap it on. I don't know. We'll we'll keep going. And I have this lighter blue. I'm just going to tack that on. Sure, why not? I want to do lips. Let's do that. And then we'll do the lashes and with the liner last because it's magnetic. Um, and then that'll kind of give us the wow factor. So let's do lips. Did I want to do blue or did I want to do purple? I feel like this blends it in too much. I think I need a purple to pop it. Okay, so this is what I used last year the NYX Glow. Uh, so it glows under black light. I don't know if they still have it out um, in stores, but we're using this. Oh yeah. Much better. All right, let's do the eyelashes. <laughs> This eyeliner is kind of tricky. I think it might need to be replaced because, you know, it's getting a little clumpy and I don't like that. <laughs> glitter on the face and I don't know if it's gonna work but I'm excited. Okay. Hold on. Ooh, what do we think? Does it work? I really think it turned out decent. Look at that. Yeah. Let me know if you had fun with this video because I sure did. <laughs> she looks so um, let me know in the comments what you think. If you would attempt something like this, it was pretty easy. You just have to have patience. It, it was really, really fun. I enjoy looks like this because it's so much fun and easy to do. So let me know what you think down in the comments. 
Thanks for hanging out with me and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Bye-bye.